we managed to organize uh, two concerts for you as, as a classical Hindustani singer yeah. and also you will give a lecture in Austerlitz in the beautiful uh, Beaufort House. Um, yeah. what, can, what can people uh, expect from that concert uh, and also from the lecture? Yes, so I will be, I'm, yes, I'm looking forward to returning to Arnhem to perform at the Yoga Center. And in the both of these performances in Austerlitz and Arnhem, I'll be presenting traditional uh, Hindustani classical music, the North Indian classical music style of India, uh, which is a very, it's a largely improvised style that works, operates within the concept of the raga, which is a very kind of, I would say, nuanced ideas of different melodic structures. Um, and of course, within certain rhythmic systems. So in the lecture um, at Austerlitz, I will be uh, describing in more detail how we kind of elaborate and improvise in this music. What are the main features and uh, how do we kind of, what a typical concert consists of, uh, the progression of repertoire and um, the, the varieties. So. I would explain it for a, in, in a good amount of detail and then actually perform so people can see the connection immediately after. Yes, beautiful. Um, and also you offered uh, uh, people who are interested, singers or even uh, instrumentalists, who would like to be inspired by your classical background, they could um, apply for classes, eh? like either one-to-one -one or in little in a little group on the Saturday morning or noon uh, on the 2nd of April. Uh, so people can really learn singing and, and composing or improvising inside th this style. We, we read about the Agra Garana style. Can you explain a little bit the difference of what, what kind of styles do you have, do we have? You, you explained yesterday to me, but uh, um, and I think it's really interesting for the listeners to know what's Agra Garana. Yes. So within Hindustani music, there are different styles, kind of sub-styles. So, and these styles are, differ based on um, their very kind of aesthetic choices. Each style, one might emphasize one aspect, the melodic aspect more, one might emphasize the lyrical, one might be more rhythmic. But I mean, I'm, that's a quite simplified version. Everything is a bit of a mix of all these elements, but the proportion of the elements varies in each of these styles and the kind of ornaments that they may use. So the style I belong to, like you mentioned, is the Agra Gharana. And um, it is a style that is really, known for, uh, I would say, a lot of play with rhythm, a lot of use of the words, the poetry. Um, it also has a rich history of composers in this particular lineage. So a lot of uh, emphasis on the structure and uh, of the compositions that we present. Uh, so, and each of these gharanas is named after one of these many, not all, but um, major Indian cities because those used to be the centers of patronage in for for the musical styles and though yeah. those systems dissolved the the names kind of remained attached to them 